So after understanding the fundamental of ML life cycle and knowing the four big Marco steps, let's get started with the first step, the problem formulation. We'll see a variety of types of machine learning problem and their applications within Amazon and elsewhere. So we see Amazon. We are very proud of being the pioneer to apply machine learning in many services and products to elevate the user experience. So one of the widely used one is the ranking problem, where we can help users find the most relevant commodities, items, entities, etc. Another widely used one at Amazon is the recommendation. When we will recommend customers the commodity and items they are most interested in. And the third application is the classification problem, which is to figure out a category that an item or thing is belong to. This is probably the most popular machine learning problems in the ML world. And our final project will be a classification problem. Well, classification problem outputs a categorical value. What if we want somewhat a continuous numerical output? And that will be a regression problem, which will output any numerical value at a range. So classification problem knows the categories at the time when we are formulating the machine learning problem. What if we don't know the exact categories and we want the model to figure out itself? For example, at Amazon.com, we may have millions of clothes and lots of them are duplicated from different sellers. This kind of problems can be viewed as clustering, which will categorize similar atoms or things together. Last but not the least, another widely used machine learning problem is called anomaly detection. When we try to find some super uncommon items from the given data points, and thus events may occur less than 1% or even 0.1%, but they are crucial to a business, such as for Amazon Fresh. When we deliver a fresh produce to the customers, it is really uncommon to see a damage or a decay product, but we want to be customer obsession and to make sure we avoid this on Euro events as much as possible. And that's why Anomaly detection is crucial here. Other applications such as fraud detections in financial industry or rare disease diagnosis in medical domains are also anomaly detections. 